Welcome to a new video on the Photography Minimalist. I was very eager to develop my first photo with my recently acquired Mayopta Enlarger. So I took a dive in a pile of negatives from the past. And I came up with a photo which I took back in 2004 with my Hasselblad 500C and a standard 80mm lens. And the film I used was a Kodak T400CM, which is a film that Kodak does not produce anymore. And the photo is of a Triumph rocket motorcycle. Actually, the first Triumph rocket that was introduced in the Netherlands. And I was the first photographer that had the opportunity to make some photos of this beautiful motorcycle. The person on the motorcycle is Robert, and he was my model for the day and he is actually my brother-in-law. I developed the photo on Achva Record Rapid paper, 30 by 40. This package of paper came with the enlarger and it was closed. And I developed the paper in Amalico AM1001 developer. The development time was 15 seconds and the aperture I used was f11. Of course, I used the Mayopta 75mm lens, which came with the enlarger, as this is medium format. And I can tell you right away that I am very impressed by the quality of this lens, contrast, and especially sharpness. Very, very good. And I'm also very impressed with this paper. And we have to realize that this paper might already be 30, 35 years old. And even though it was unopened, it gave a fantastic result, as you've been able to see in this video. So I'm very satisfied with the end image, which I'm going to present as a gift to my brother-in-law. So that's an image already from 17 years ago. And for me, this was sort of a trial run because the last time I developed my own photos was 37 years ago, when I was 18 years old. I did this test run to see how the process would flow, if I forget anything, or if I need extra equipment, or things that are just not working out. And actually, I have quite a few things that I would explain that I bumped up against. The first thing I would like to say is safety. Maybe you can remember from my previous video that this enlarger had the old electrical cord it came with back from the 60s, and it was totally disintegrated. It was very dangerous. So I recently rewired the enlarger. Second of all is don't shy away from old photographic paper, especially if the packages are still closed. It's worth the risk to invest or at least sometimes you get it for free, use this old paper. It did not disappoint me whatsoever. A third point I would like to point out is I have three of these large development trays. One, of course, for your developer, the second for your stop bath, and your third for the fixer. And I need to get a fourth tray because I also need a tray just to rinse the photo, something I forgot all about. Point number four, if you have a portable darkroom, don't underestimate the amount of work and time you need to invest to set up everything to make your enlargements. For me, this was only a trial run, 
But the next time I set everything up, I will have a bunch of negatives ready for me so I can make at least five or 10 enlargements all at once because otherwise it's just not efficient to set everything up only for one enlargement. My fifth point would be dust is your worst enemy. And I have had to really thoroughly clean the whole enlarger and really take care that I do not have any dust on the negative and also on the paper on which I'm developing. And a sixth and last point is that I have a developing mask for a maximum of 20 by 30 with regards to paper size. And now I'm using 30 by 40. And this old paper does have a tendency to curl a little bit at the edge. So you need a mask also for the 30 by 40 or make some kind of mask to hold down your paper completely flat. Well, again, I was not disappointed in the end result, which I was able to achieve. So I will be using this Mayopta enlarger more often. I am very impressed with the 75 millimeter Mayopta enlargement lens, something I did not expect. And all in all, for an enlarger back from the 60s, including the lens and paper, which is probably 30 or 35 years old, I think I've been able to achieve a very good result. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel so you keep up to date with all my new videos. Thanks again. Take care and I'll see you next time.